Hi, the Sultan of Silver here with you with a tip that I discovered that gives me a phenomenal night's sleep. Stay tuned. Hi, the Sultan of Silver back here with you and I'm going to show you what I do to get a great night's sleep and that is I stopped wearing pajamas or pajama bottoms and a t-shirt which is pretty typical because I just I was getting tired of elastic waistbands and drawstring bands on my waist so let me show you what I did what little change that I made that you might like or you might not it might be and this is not a funny joking video this is dead serious but one little change that I made that might work for you as well here it is, the change that I made is I went to wearing a night shirt. Yes, a night shirt. You must be thinking, what are you, 90 years old in England? No, I'm not. I've got this great flannel night shirt for the fall and winter that is absolutely incredible. Let me back up. Try not to laugh too hard, but I get a great night's sleep every night. It's like a flannel shirt, much looser, no collar, comes down to about mid-calf, and it hangs. It might feel like a bathrobe, but it has no pockets. It's just a big shirt that goes halfway down your legs. What's interesting about the night shirt is that you can sleep completely commando. So if you're not a commando buff sleeper, this allows you to do that because it feels like you're in between the covers and believe me it keeps you warm it keeps you comfortable and there's zero restriction on your waist you feel nothing it just it doesn't I don't even feel this thing on me it's absolutely amazing let me show you again one more time wear it with a robe around the house or not. It's comfortable as can be. And when I started wearing a night shirt, a flannel night shirt in the fall and winter, and a cotton linen one in the spring and summer, my sleep got so much better. My dreams are more lucid. I'm not unconsciously fighting fabric or waistbands, elastic waistbands or drawstrings or anything like that. It is the single most comfortable thing. It might be silly to some, but the single most comfortable thing I did to get a good night's sleep. You gotta try it. Now I'm gonna show you how to put on a night shirt. Here it is. See, it's very, very long, okay? What I want you to do is go to the bottom of it, the very bottom. Find the neck hole. Here we go, like this. Okay. Don't try any other way. I'm actually bunching up the whole thing in my hands. I slip it over my head like this. Put my arms in, and then bring it down. Pull my beard out, and there we go. Nice shirt. For a comfortable night's sleep. And of course, you've seen me wear the nightcap as well in the nightcap videos. And what I've done is I've actually turned the heat down in my house and I keep my head warm and my room is very cool because I sleep better, like most people do, when it's cool out. So, I also use this. And I know what you're thinking. You must be a Charles Dickens fan. <laughs> Put on the nightcap. There you go. You're ready for a great night's sleep. You're rocking out and sleeping like it's 1899. But it's interesting when you look at the uh, story the night before Christmas, when the guy says, uh, and mom in her kerchief and I in my cap all settled down for a long winter's nap. So imagine your girlfriend or your wife also wearing a night shirt as well and taking a long winter's nap. You know what I'm saying? 
So that could be a new thing. Add a little variety and fun to the marriage, right? Hey, honey, how about a long winter's nap? <laughs> Anyways, give it a shot. Turn the heat down five degrees. Sleep naked underneath. It's fantastic. Your sleep will change literally within a couple nights. Once you get used to it, it's gonna blow your mind. Does it look silly? I guess it depends what century you're from. I'm from 100 years ago or more, so for me, this just fits right in. I hope it's useful for you. Take a look at the links down below if you wanna switch over to the night shirt and nightcap kind of life. You're gonna love it, I guarantee it.